Що? Ну, нема що. От я не бачу, дивлюся. Чи як воно воно має? Якщо. У вас вже все, да? Працює? А, в мене теж працює вже. Так. Ну що? Mm-hmm. Так, пишу своїм студентам ще одному. Окей, okay. uh, good, great. So what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna start now. Uh, we're gonna talk for about 35-45 minutes, and uh, after that there might be some Q and A. It depends, uh, and there might be follow up Q and A's, uh, and we might even do a you know assignment together and see any questions uh, from students arise. Yeah, we will answer. <coughs> okay, so let me introduce uh, Sergey. Uh, and uh, let's start with uh, you know we know each other for a little bit I don't know we don't know we don't meet too frequently but know, maybe over a year now yes several maybe two years we yeah um, yeah actually in, in different projects yeah and uh, Sergey is one of the active providers uh, block provider certifiers uh, in EOS um, this is a proof of uh, stake system. And we will start uh, with one question, just introduce yourself and tell us how you got into this, right? Uh, in EOS and what else you have been doing. And then I'll ask you about how to become an active uh, blog provider. What does it blog mean? Producer, 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 yeah. producer, yeah. blog producer, how, what it means, what you do, what is the competition, the kind of, you know, standard questions of interest, and then we'll have Q&A after that. Okay, great. Let me introduce myself. My name is Sergey. Sergey Vasyshuk, I am the founder and uh, current CEO of uh, technological company IT Club. IT Club was created near three years ago as a subdivision of one commercial bank. And since the, uh, these three years, we do only blockchain and crypto stuff. So now we like uh, 35 people, all we based in Kiev. Majority of, of us are software engineers. Uh, I am software engineer also with like more than 15 years of experience but i create a group of talented engineers which are in love in blockchain and crypto and believe this this technology can really change our life uh, the biggest experience in blockchain uh, of it club and me personally is about the banking and finance so we try to build application system and projects which provide alternative way to handle with the finance with real money with derivative with trading which and another stuff so our goal and our main to make it more easy for average uh, person and for new generation uh, because we think that banking right now is too outdated and become very complicated so it's our goal and the ground uh, that's why I am low in Bitcoin. It's like the, my favorite uh, invention from uh, from the last maybe 15 years, maybe you know 40 or 50. Don't know. I'm really in love uh, with this technology. And of course, uh, me like engineer uh, is interesting in any other technology which are more advanced uh, than Bitcoin and uh, can approach faster, can solve real task of real business something that could be implemented in real economy because now we see that there was a bubble of ico and bubble of expectation many of projects went to market mm-hmm. with uh, zero of, uh, added value yeah they just come appear and gather some money have no idea what is burn rate how to manage company and of course it's uh, it's dying uh, and uh, on this like depression market, uh, EOS was appeared like something new. It differs from the other blockchain from different point of view. One of the things uh, that really impressed me is uh, is positional like the blockchain for the business. Mm-hmm. The company which names block one. Uh, f- uh, gathered a numerous number of uh, money for the ICO. It was uh, 4.2 billion dollars. So it's impressive money, not just for the blockchain startup, for, 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 any, any, for any company. Many, many, many companies spent uh, 10 years to achieve such evaluation goal. And uh, these guys just for the one year took such crazy money. 
and uh, they really do some amazing stuff. Uh, they created new blockchain, which is enough fast, so it's very fast, it's closed block, uh, two blocks per second, so um, it's more faster than Ethereum, Bitcoin, and everything that we know. Uh, the quota base, the quality of this blockchain code is good enough, and uh, the main th feature that I like it also is governance. Mm -hmm. So all other blockchains before try to build something that human cannot influence. Mm -hmm. But uh, this is anarchy uh, behavior or approach of creating blockchains uh, is become a big barrier to be implemented to the real life, to the real economy. Mm -hmm. For example, if we go to the bank and say that I have some great idea and great system which is not under your control they say okay i'm lucky you are lucky man <laughs> yeah. i'm happy but uh, we could not intersect because no, we have be some part of regulations thing. because business uh, and uh, business relationship were created a thousand years ago before technology before blockchain and this is how people interact and how people approach with uh, which each other and blockchain is, is uh, EOS blockchain is some type of combination of the cryptocurrency but with human governance. Mm -hmm. So the basic idea that we create a platform where people uh, can interact with each other mm -hmm. in those ways that they usually do in real business. Mm -hmm. So if we have some agreements with you, mm -hmm. we can cite it like a smart contract. We can uh, create arbitrage, for example, if something goes wrong, we go to another party which will solve our dispute. Uh, community also need to make support of this blockchain, so there are no miners, so there are no some unknown people. Everybody in this uh, network is well known. And uh, there are like providers who support this blockchain, and this is block producers. So the main. Uh, mm -hmm. So can you tell us exactly what uh, what yeah block producers do? Mm, uh, so you're one of block producers, yes, right? I'm, yeah. I'm, are, if people want to look you up, you you just showed to me you are number eighteen, right? Yeah, out of twenty one, right? Now in so, so they can look 18. up how much money you earn per day, right? Yes, it's something like seven hundred euros per day. Is is our so dollars. in dollars? How much would that be? You can multiply it in the five, and you mm -hmm. will calculate it in dollars. So like three four thousand dollars yeah. a, a day, right? Okay, one hundred twenty a, a month. Yes, it's easy to calculate right now, just to multiply the five, but uh, in the background we have uh, a big team because we need to work 24-7. Uh, uh, yeah, absolutely. No, 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 I'm, I'm not saying you don't have any costs, okay? I'm not saying, and I, I understand how easy it is, will, will be dropped off this list and then you still have your costs because you can't yep. like hire yep. and fire your engineers and how much you invested into being there and becoming known because it's a political little bit exercise, right? Where people vote for you to be. Uh, so there are a lot of these guys down there, right? Uh, you showed me what, 400? Uh, it was 400. Which, and which the, website would be that? It was eostracker.io. Okay, I'm going to just uh, send it uh, in the in the EOS tracker. Yes, eostracker.io is one of numerous uh, block explorer. Yeah, okay. It is the block explorer for EOS network. So currently we have something like uh, four with the half hundreds of block producers candidates. So there are different entities here. Your number 18 you say, right? Yeah. We're number 18, article up number 18. Mm -hmm. So uh, and you have 400 people. So all those people are somehow also investing in their stuff and right, they also have not, costs. Not necessary. Not necessary. Okay. Yes, right. but... We'll, we'll at, talk about that later. Yes, at least starting from 200 mm -hmm. position they should invest something in order to become we a actually yeah. potential. okay so how did you become a block producer and what does it mean so this is two separate questions one is uh, what what do you do you know not you but software what is it that you do guys so bitcoin is two for four yes and in order to exist uh, there are guys 
who, who we call miners, mm -hmm. who buy equipment which made some compu uh, computation. computation. Yeah, yeah. And uh, there is algorithm mm -hmm. which protect this system from the hex integration or something that we call double spend. Mm -hmm. But it became very slow because uh, in uh, technology, if somebody have uh, someone have uh, engineer background, you know that system distributed system uh, operate uh, in such way when the total speed mm -hmm. will be the speed of the slowest entity. Okay. That's why if in Bitcoin and other system it will be in uh, act as the slowest entity in this system. Mm -hmm. But in order to achieve a speed, mm -hmm. we need guarantee quality of equipment and mm -hmm. team who mm -hmm. will be supported this system. That's mm -hmm. why there are very uh, an, an up high threshold uh, for the equipment, for the qualification, mm -hmm. uh, for the staff in order to become be, a miner. Yeah, right? to become like a, a miner. Yeah, a so, proof of work miner. You you have to. Yeah, so right in, instead of okay. proof of work, we call something that proof of stake. Mm -hmm. It means that uh, different token token holders vote for me to become a block producer. So it's delegated proof of stake. Yes, right? it's delegated proof mm -hmm. of stake. So some token holders, maybe somebody of you also have the EOS, you delegate me to become a block producer. So you trust me and delegate me to support this network. And how does it technically happen? Uh, people in their wallets have EOS, and then they can choose whom to send. Or yeah, it it different. How, yeah, it a little bit tricky. Uh, it is not user friendly, but it is consciously made by Block One because uh, you need to freeze your money mm -hmm. in order to vote. Mm -hmm. So you can, for example, you have one hundred tokens in your mm -hmm. account. You can freeze a half of them, mm -hmm. stake. Mm -hmm. But during this staking. Uh, your money are frozen on the special escrow account, mm -hmm. and you can delegate me voting power, mm -hmm. which is uh, proportional proportional to, to this state account. Mm -hmm. So during vote, you cannot use your money. Mm -hmm. Moreover, if you want to unvote, undelegate, unstake, those money will be frozen at least three days on those accounts. Okay, that's to change, you slow down the frequency and make it a little bit more difficult. To yes, control. so this is enough consciousness things to vote for somebody. It's okay. not something that So you basically I increase the cost of, uh, of yes. making this choice. So mm -hmm. and, and what percentage, do you know what percentage of the total US tokens is staked? Yes, you can open those sites and this is, blockchain is enough public. Mm -hmm. yeah. So currently it's near, uh, 39, 40%. Yes, near 40% of all tokens is near 400 million tokens mm -hmm. are participating in stake. Mm -hmm. Total uh, number of ECU token is 1 billion. Mm -hmm. And it's like it's a yeah, big amount. amount. Yeah, it is a big amount. So uh, near a quarter of all tokens in the EOS are frozen in order to support mm -hmm. their block producers. I see. It's great. And uh, you now... so. So you pay back to people who no, 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 no. trust it's, you or not? No. It's prohibited. It's prohibited. It's prohibited by law. And another funny thing that exists in an EOS and doesn't exist in any, any other way is constitution. Mm -hmm. So we have the set of rules of to mm -hmm. govern uh, to govern this uh, network, and this set of rules called constitution. So what's your constitution? Tell us why, first of all, tell us why you have a constitution, other blockchains don't. And second, uh, what does it say? Uh, it's experiment and uh, it's the first blockchain. With constitution. Yeah, with constitution. With something that how people should act and behave in this network. So this is the rule here. It's great, it's great. Yeah, yeah. So, so what does it say? What are the main rules? Uh, this. Uh, more than 10 rules and uh, I do not want to compare with religion mm -hmm. but it is enough common so you cannot buy a vote mm -hmm. is one rule for the block producer mm -hmm. so you cannot reward your voters mm -hmm. so if you reward by voters you should be punished you mm -hmm. cannot be the block producer mm -hmm. okay you cannot steal the money 
mm-hmm. and, and, and in other things. So it's the rule how to interact. It's very simple and uh, you can, can just find it. Just EOS constitution. Uh-huh. EOS constitution. That's it's located in the uh, GitHub. Mm-hmm. In GitHub there is EOS yeah. constitution. Okay, so I'm gonna send a link to people. EOS constitution. Just Google EOS constitution, then uh-huh. you will see it is it's very short. So there is article mm-hmm. uh, one. Oh, that's great. So no violation. So tell us now uh, how. So what happens? Rights of the members, no vote binds, and and so on. So how? So so one interesting thing is how do you become now a producer? Because uh, how do you get people to vote for you? And and what happens if they vote for someone else and that person? You know, who gets elected? The people who got the largest number of votes? Yep, definitely. People who get the largest number. The numbers, uh, the largest uh, number of stakes. Of stakes, yes. So if, uh, for example, ten people will vote for me, mm-hmm. and uh, they will vote just for the one year, mm-hmm. and one big whale which has a million of uh, yeah, will years, vote for someone else. Uh, will, will vote for someone else. He, his voting power will, will be, be larger. Yeah, will be larger. Okay, so it's proportional to the. To uh, the uh, amount of the stake that people stake to choose. The and ho- what happens to those? Who, 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 you know, who were voted for but didn't get this 21 percent? They're on that list, right? And this yeah. is how they are ranked, or uh, how does it work? This list show us that some guys, some companies, some block producers, which are not active, mm-hmm. we call it standby. Mm-hmm. What does it mean? That they need also to support, uh, to maintain all the equipment, all the team, mm-hmm. because. Uh, they might become. Yeah. Yes, they might become. So, for instance, number twenty-two currently is EOS Space. EOS Space. EOS. Yes, yes, they are not actively producer, but they still reward it. Or they still being paid. A yeah, lot for they, being standby. Yeah, and uh, how many are being rewarded for being standby? Another 10, 15? Yes, it's, it's depends uh, from the position. So you mm-hmm. see, yeah, it's proportional. So the people decrease, but uh, twenty-one. And there is a threshold for the 100 EOS. You can so if you get more than 100 e, uh, or you cannot get so if you get you cannot get less than 100 EOS. If as you, a reward, yeah. If you get less, you are out of uh, mm-hmm. out of game. And you just get proportionally. So how do you earn rewards? This is fees or this is emission uh, for this, transactions? No, uh, there is no fees because. Uh-huh. All transactions in EOS are free. Okay, that's interesting. Who is paying them? Uh, it's a consensus. Mm-hmm. We state that we have, like, we, okay, we have 5% inflation per year. 5% inflation yes. per year. And this 5% is what is used to. No, it's more complicated. Okay, but we want to know. <laughs> okay, uh, no secrets. Uh, yeah, 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 of course. Yeah, yeah, of course. That's blockchain. Uh, 1% of this inflation go to reward of block producers. Okay. And uh, there is also some explosion for uh, these rewards. Uh, the quarter of them, like uh, 0.25% is go to active block producers. Mm-hmm. All others, 0.75% is go to support standby block producers. Okay. Uh, and uh, uh, it's really uh, clever um, Distribution because I few days ago one of the guys I do not remember who is uh, it was some team they were on like twenty five position uh, they uh, dropped down from this uh, twenty one mm-hmm. uh, they were they mad they did not maintain the blacklist so they did not nothing because. Okay, we just make it drop, yeah. yes, drop and do, do not want to do uh, anything. anything yeah. mm-hmm. But some guys win 10 million years, vote for them, and they go to the top, like the top 10 or top 15. Mm-hmm. But they were not ready because uh, their blacklist mm-hmm. was not updated. Mm-hmm. Uh, their equipment was half maintenance. And they, it was big trouble for, for the system mm-hmm. because they are not be ready to, to do this mm-hmm. job. And so what happened uh, to them? Uh, what happened to them, they, Were all community, no, it's, it's like if you go, if you live with the neighbors in one house mm-hmm. and you see that somebody misbehaves that yeah. can harm to your life. You go first to them and say, what are you doing? Please, please fix. 
So you uh, the community talk to them and they yep, just... yep, yep. So they found the reaction like that after one minute after this mistake. Yep. So everybody started to come to that where you and you are both producing. So how, how, how do you know that they're not maintaining? So how the network sees that? Or you know what what is it that the block producer does really now? Uh, so, so, okay, you need this equipment for what? I understand this is a verification of transactions. But yes, how uh, it... you need you need uh, enough powerful equipment. You need to maintain a blacklist. What is blacklist? Is one of them uh, important thing for the block producer? Uh, we have the issues in uh, blockchain when somebody stole another token. Tokens, so tokens are stolen, and mm -hmm. owner can prove that. These all these tokens was belong to his account, mm -hmm. and if such accident will occur, uh, there is some um, like entity we call the ECAP, uh, EO score arbitration forum. It's something like constitutional judge, okay. and he sent uh, requirement to block producer to block this account. Mm -hmm. And how we block? So we do not block. We just ignore it. Mm -hmm. We've yeah, you're basically excluding from the system by ignoring everything. Everything yeah. it does, uh, yeah. every transaction it does, it sends something to the system. You say it didn't happen. Yeah. yeah. Basically, ostracize it in political sense. You take the person and have him out of the society. Yeah. yeah. So, so yeah. if you if a misbehavior, mm -hmm. you is out of society forever until block producer will not uh, uh, exclude it from uh, from uh, the old block list. So we have blacklist. Yeah. So this is and how long do you maintain the blacklist? People forever or for two uh, months or until ECAP will not send us opposite uh, I see. Resolution. So basically nothing changes, but ECAP can later yeah. come yeah. back and say and ECAP it's it's people discussing, right? Yes. It's not an algorithm. It's also it's, uh, it's also community. Yeah, yeah, it's a community. But it's elected a, by by. Uh, uh -huh. It's also elected, so it's like giant so a little bit. Now uh, the system of election is not ready. It's not ready. It's not ready, but community is very friendly, and we understand who is really able to perform this job. Mm -hmm. So it's just like election. Mm, Community election. Yeah, yes. by trust. By so trust. Yeah, trust so you, by legitimacy. Informal so, legitimacy. Yeah, uh, I understand. And uh, it's very like the creation of small governments, of, mm -hmm. of a small yeah, government. This, this is great. This is fantastic. <laughs> I'm serious. This is great. I, you know. And I, we, we know that guys from the EOS Amsterdam and EOS Nation, they have lawyers. Mm -hmm. uh, they have some time and they are. They and guys are, are looking at this. Yes, yeah. they are not active in this. So, okay, I'm an engineer. I don't understand enough in a uh, loyal system, mm -hmm. but you are a lawyer. Let's do it. So, uh, and who is paying those guys? You know, why are they now, hiring lawyers? Yeah, now, how, how do they earn Now them? they are not paid. Uh -huh. And it's just more work for community for the free, but it's volunteering for is, now. Yes, volunteering for now. But do you remember I mentioned about the five percent inflation? Yes, correct. So you only explained where one percent is going. Yes. The other four percent. Block producers uh, are currently reward only for the one uh, person. Yeah. But all other four per rest of this yeah. five person, which four person, go to something we called WPS, workout proposals. Uh -huh. So it's like a treasury uh -huh. which should reward customers who, de uh, like people or entities who develop, uh, develop EOS. So it's, it's money should be go to ECAP, it's mm -hmm. money go to the marketing for the education. And there you also vote? How do you decide how to? There is no tool. So, okay. and now uh, block producers are rewarding, uh -huh. but this treasury is Full and full yeah, and full it's and full bigger and bigger. But yeah. we have not a way to, 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 yeah, to spend it here. Yeah, 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 yeah. And it's, it's a big issue. And many of the producers are now not happy because, like, comparing from the country and the legal system, we are executive power. Uh -huh. So we do not judge. We do not want to judge. We do not want to investigate. It is not our deal. We are engineers. Yeah, yeah. So, engineers, if you have, say, block, okay, we'll block. If, if, yeah, other guys say that we need to update the system, we update. Yeah, so yeah. we're soldiers. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And we are paying just to be a soldier. So uh -huh. not to be want to involved in all these political things like in the election. Mm -hmm. But currently what producing is do all the jobs. Mm -hmm.
Good job, bad job. Uh -huh, uh -huh, Everything is good to the blue producer. All right, so this is great. This is fascinating. Really, really, it's like formation of the society. Seriously, it's it's it's, yes, it's really is. It, it is fascinating. <laughs> it's a digital society which is formed, you know, outside of any legislations, and yet people are trying to build the similar mechanisms and it's, yeah, it's, it's great to see it's, how it is very funny because all these people is just not from the one one culture yes yes exactly it's and global it's, it's true global it's I, something I is, it. is very strange then we try to negotiate something and understand that one team is another the producer they have one guy from Germany, two guys from the india another guy from the amsterdam they are from the costa rica those are african and we have like all different glasses. We, we yeah, see. Yeah, you have different perspectives. You have different. Uh, how is it that you don't argue and you don't have a war? I don't know. I mean, digital war. But okay. So um, now your job as a blog producer, in terms of actual, what you do, what, what, how do you verify? So there is blockchain. There are transactions. There are people are sending. And then what there is do you do? blockchain. There is transaction. You move in an order, in a sequence, or randomly? How? What's what's the what are the rules? You know what what is. It? What's the, your equipment doing? You know, uh, what, what do you, the whole thing is, is uh, everything is already coded mm -hmm. in algorithm, mm -hmm. which we call consensus. Okay. And uh, by consensus, uh, top top twenty one block producers are selected by its voting power. Mm -hmm. uh, if system understands that I am block producer, then my keys, which allocated on my servers can sign the transactions. Aha, uh -huh. understand. Is the same like in um, Bitcoin or Ethereum, when transactions come to the mining pool, mm -hmm. and the miners verify, sign this transaction. Yeah. The same approach here. Yeah, but you basically people, can people sign, sign the block. Yeah. Sign the block yeah. But we sign the block. Mm -hmm. I understand. And if the majority of the block producer signed, uh, we, we get at least 15 signs mm -hmm. of different block producer, it go to the irreversible block of the irreversible transaction is the way how so we So you need to have until until 15. So it's uh, yes, two sorts. Yes. It's two sorts. So yeah. 15 guys have to sign. Great. Okay, I understand. Uh, and then uh, we have uh, big technical issues uh, mm -hmm. because of great uh, geographical distribution. We have guys in China, we have guys in mm -hmm. Brazil. So we have latency. Yes, we have latency. But uh, if you remember, I told in the beginning the block as slow in one spell half of the second. Yeah. So uh, half of the second sometimes is the time of the latency. Yeah. Do you get forks? Like uh, yes. And uh, initially, when, when my, my different uh, guys sign different blocks, right? Or, or? Uh, yeah. It was um, the biggest issue uh, was from the Chinese guys, mm -hmm. which technically located their uh, facilities in in China or in Asia. Mm -hmm. And now they, if you remember, five or seven blocks produced in China. Mm -hmm. They produce blocks, and latency is low between their servers. Between them, yeah. Yes, but then they are different. Uh, they are latent to you guys, to the rest of yeah, the network. Yeah, but then uh, consensus switch. For example, to guys from Brazil, mm -hmm. we have a, a huge latency, mm -hmm. and. Those guys or those servers do not already broadcast it and know about that yeah. some new blocks appeared in the different part of the world yeah. and they start to build like their a own, yeah, yeah. Parallel, parallel fork. Yeah. So what what then how do you what resolve the, this thing? Uh, the solution? It's tricky and uh, an enough expensive task because we buy high speed uh, networks, dedicated mm -hmm. bandwidth. Uh, we currently pay for the fiber for the one gigabit and ten gigabit channels. We build a network, uh, our own network, uh, on the top of the internet network. Yeah, I understand. So you're actually trying to yes. directly decrease latency I, I, for specific we, guys we, who we, are... We try to uh, decrease latency for and the block what, what we personally, like Attic Lab, do, we have not certain we have points of present. Mm -hmm. We have points of present in Asia, we mm -hmm. have several servers here, in Europe, uh, in America. And we build by expensive and fast uh, channels. We buy a huge bandwidth in order to. So you buy it through some providers who yeah. offer it. Yeah. So you basically buy capacity, right? Yes, we, we buy guarantee capacity. You buy guarantee capacity for your traffic. Fantastic. Okay. <coughs> and uh, if, if I understand that uh, currently majority of the producers are located in uh, in China, 
So my servers also know it because it's low latency. Mm -hmm. yeah. If I switch to another country using my own bandwidth yeah. guarantee, my servers are faster than, than others. Mm -hmm. And uh, the another thing that my engineers did, we optimized uh, hardware uh, to work specifically for this EOS uh, virtual machine. And mm -hmm. currently, Arctic Lab invented, like, become the fastest for producers. Uh, cool. Yes, and uh, guys, we're really proud that Ukrainian <laughs> software. Yes, uh, this is fantastic. So I am definitely telling you that Etic Lab guys from the Ukraine, engineers from the Ukraine, changed the EOS. We we dramatically changed the speed how this network now works, and because of competition, mm -hmm. all other engineers and teams began to do the same. This is crazy. And just for the one week. Because of competition, because of talented people, we upgrade the system for the very high quality to the, the next level. So that's why I like the CEOs, because I am operating with the same level of quality of the knowledge of this engineer. So it's amazing how this uh, EOS blockchain gathered the most talented engineers from the home of the world. It's really the most expensive and qualified team that I can ever meet. I hope that even Microsoft, Apple, and other guys will envy how distributed knowledge really works. This is hilarious. Hilarious in the sense that you can, in a decentralized manner, trying to, in fact, uh, yeah, we, the we, development of that. We achieved a, a very great result for the very short period of time. Mm -hmm. So why is, is the motivation? Who is using EOS? Who is using? Where is the, you know, why is it even valuable? I understand people, you know, is it as popular of as course, Bitcoin for payment? Of course, what people use? Uh, many hype inside of this is definitely, but uh, do you remember Block 1 gathered like the billions of the dollars? Yes. We, they currently invest in different hackathons, in, in educational programs. Mm -hmm. They created a, a huge uh, fund to support uh, guys who make building their application on the top of the EOS blockchain. Mm -hmm. So uh, EOS VC uh, is worth of one billion dollars. Mm -hmm. So if you have a great idea which can be done on the EOS network, you're welcome to do it. You so, make it the key and mm -hmm. go to the EOS fund for the funding. So they will give you money to support your project. And I know at least more than 100 uh, projects in the different uh, levels of uh, maturity uh, which uh, do their business, do their ideas in the EOS machine. And so what are the realizations already? Do we have anything which is sort of, you can give us an example of a successful uh, EOS project with uh, what you added? Yes, is one of them is e Eliminate. Is eliminate. Yeah, is guys who are selling the music by the second. Mm -hmm. they, they say not the track, but just a yeah, second yeah, of right. the music. And because EOS is very fast, they can track what you are listening, what you are streaming, then you build just for one second of listening of the news. So this, this is great. I mean, if we have an idea or if our you know, class participants have ideas, um, uh, can you coach us and we apply? Uh, unfortunately... Are you not I, allowed? Mm, are you no, busy? The first time I'm really busy, we yeah, sleep. Yeah, that, that, we sleep not much well, time. Not much, yes. <laughs> yes. So we appreciate you here. You know, good we have a recording. Yes. We can show it to future and, generations. Uh, the another uh, case that uh, guys from the block one from this EOCC say that uh, they cannot fund a team uh, who are somehow connected to the block producer. It makes good sense because of, of former uh, of former uh, block one employees. Mm -hmm, because there is a conflict of interest. Presumably. Yes, because we already some come rewarded. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, I understand. It makes good sense from corporate governance perspective. Okay, so you know we might, you know, we, we spoke for about 30, 40 minutes. Maybe there are uh, questions. Uh, um, if not, uh, I have a couple. All right, let me ask. Uh, So one thing which interests me is um, is this uh, collusion kind of scandal, which was recently on the news. Yes, it was about um, Chinese uh, exchanges. Yes, which votes uh, with the big votes. Mm -hmm. So what really happens? Uh, there are small guys. Mm -hmm. There are big guys. Mm -hmm. So we call it whales, and uh, I know several big exchange. 
which hold like stake for more than 10 or even 20 millions in the under their control. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So of course they can shift or mix this list just making their rules. Mm -hmm. And everybody try to become a friend of them. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, if two Chinese guys, for example, to exchange vote for each other, mm -hmm. of course they will both yeah. grow in the list. Yeah, of course. And after it, many of, of small guys just with two main companies of which were very close to the 21 or wasn't 41, of course they will drop. And mm -hmm. many of them say, oh, okay, why we were in this system from the early beginning and how Huobi will come and destroy all our like dreams to become it. So we try to build society, but there are some type of wells we yeah, yeah, do. Yeah, sort of the idea yeah, decentralization, decentralization. And, the, and you have just the opposite, the wealthy guys control the narrative now. Yes, and uh, it's, it's just human nature. Of course, everybody who is under 21 will be if they say that they are um, do a uh, bad approach. Mm -hmm. so, they, so, so you think basically there's nothing happening really? It's more like speculations and jealousy? Of course, and... they, Chinese people will support Chinese people. Okay, Ukrainian okay. people will support Ukrainian people. Okay, okay. So if, if for example, Ukraine has 40 uh, millions of, of tokens in our community, uh, Arctic Lab, um, Crypto Alliance, maybe Kuna, our guys from the UK, they will be supported them. So mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's normal. And uh, currently, guys try to see that if exchanges, like big guys, whales, vote for each other, they call it vote trading, mm -hmm. and say that it's out of the law, out of constitution, and they should be punished. But guys who, like big whales, so, so you, won't me uh, deny to vote for guy that I like, okay? Yeah, so you know, it's, it's hard to prove, even if there's something going on, and you don't have to do it. You can have a, um, in, let's say, in developed economies, in there is collusion when the producers of whatever, you know, you come to the auction and I don't come, and we don't exchange money. This is how we actually have this kind of agreement, that on Mondays you win, on Tuesdays I win, you know? Here I vote for you, you vote for me. That's not illegal. What is illegal in the United States is to talk about this and agree and maybe pay each other. But it's not illegal not to actually do it. Well, or that you should understand that a token holder can select 30 block producers, not just one. Mm -hmm. And uh, you can technically exchange it from the 30 different big whales. Mm -hmm. And this is how many of guys will uh, come to yeah. uh, come to yeah, and they become so there is a danger that several really wealthy block producers uh, mm. capture the system. Um, the danger will be if like 15, 15 block producers will be under control of some group or some yeah, yeah. people. It could be dangerous. But currently, mm -hmm. uh, everybody try to afraid of Chinese guys. They have five for seven. Mm -hmm. Block producer is not still dangerous, mm -hmm. but it's just numbers. So Chinese is the biggest nation. They have a, a big number of exchanges, a big number of the token holders, and total uh, total amount of uh, mm -hmm. this yes, the economy. community economy is yes, really lives in, is in, huge. In, uh, in in China. And uh, another thing, this culture difference, something that American or Western people think that is like boat trading mm -hmm. or some illegal stuff. Chinese says it is just a business, such as is is normal behavior, and this will never end. So it's just conflict of yeah, mindset. Yeah, 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 I understand. <laughs> but you think Ukraine, you guys have a chance of not, you you're not going to be squeezed out eventually. Right? Nobody knows. Nobody knows. Okay. We uh, we got support from. Uh, big Chinese guys, we got support from the big uh, American guys, token holders, we got support from the small token holders, so we are very mixed. Uh, if there is some opposite from the Chinese investor, with something like in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so one question is, how do you become an active block producer? You, you were just before the interview, aren't you? you were telling me how much you needed to invest. Uh, a couple of weeks ago in London, right? Uh, and now we were in the early stages of this uh, mm -hmm. stuff. So we uh, requested to be a good producer uh, for before five months of the mainnet. Mm -hmm. 
So we were candidates, then the main net was released, we installed the nodes. So it, we did not know how to interact with it, how to deal with it. Mm -hmm. You know, we have experience in uh, different other blockchains, but it was just a curiosity. Curiosity killed the cat. So, but yeah. curiosity <laughs> make us uh, in some block producer. But then I understand that uh, we were on the like 55 position, then 45, and I understand one thing that. If nobody will know about Attic Lab and what we really do, nobody will work for us. Yeah, that's absolutely So I take my shoes and went to just any place the EOS community meets. So mm -hmm. we were present, we make some presence in the community, we make contribution to the EOS ecosystem. I tell you about this. We became a faster group producer. We sponsor some events. We do many stuff in the social network. We explain the people. So it's just elections. <laughs> you actually, actually, yeah, you, it's like elections. You have to campaign, you have to yeah, give we, back to the community. So community votes for you, right? Is election, is this death, is presence, is something that I try to learn how uh, election works. <laughs> so you think you're yeah, I'm, I'm a genius. So, so are you a good politician now? No, I'm really weak in the politician and uh, I'm happy about do my engineering stuff. I, I like listen, it. Listen, I fundraise for the Kiev School of Economics. It's also a political exercise. You know, I'm happy. I'm no more comfortable doing my game theoretic analysis of how blockchain works, for instance, rather than campaigning to provide. So I understand this, is, but you, you think you you've mastered it? You know, you're now like you know you're good I'm, at your job. I'm, 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 I'm lucky. Do. I'm lucky with my partner because mm -hmm. uh, it's have much more bigger experience of the managing mm -hmm. uh, big corporation, big banks and uh, big money, big votes is, is big relationship. So yeah. I am really too young uh, to communicate. So are you basically level. saying now the team is important? Of course. I'm, I'm just nothing without my team. Mm -hmm. So uh, I spent three years to gather such a brilliant team and only that, that um, uh, my uh, last experience my last investment in Malak Hour Knowledge is you know, I've given the ability to pick the best people mm -hmm. from the different project to create this team for the two years of two days. Mm -hmm. We have some funds uh, from the different uh, also other projects to, to travel. So we really spend a huge money mm -hmm. just with the traveling for the hackathons. Yeah, I understand. Yeah, yeah, I understand this, this <clears throat> so you know, I wouldn't say you know it's uh, it's cheaper in some sense because not necessarily because the argument for proof of stake, uh, proof of work is it's really really costly, and the rents are you know are dissipated through the energy through the equipment, and then say maybe delegated proof of stake or proof of stake proof of stake is one thing separately the delegated proof of stake. Is um, is maybe working, but you see, then there is election. The election becomes more competitive eventually. There are costs of the elections. Too. It depends. It depends on the system because we currently discussing on the EOS yeah, government. Yeah, only, so, only EOS. Yes, yes. But Attic Lab also is participating in making like baking for the Tesla network. Mm -hmm. There is uh, also several uh, weeks ago main net of Tesla's lunch mm -hmm. is also delegated proof of stake, mm -hmm. but there is no constitution and anybody could reward the people mm -hmm. who support their baker. So they call instead of the producer we have bakers. Mm -hmm. Bakers uh, took uh, uh, small pieces of uh, tokens into one roll. One roll mm -hmm. is 10,000 uh, uh, mm, Tesla's. Mm -hmm. And we bake it, so mm -hmm. we also bake yeah, it. Yeah. So, but we are free to reward the customer. Mm -hmm. So it's more much easy because there is no politician and the mm -hmm. petition. So if you um, uh, make a better service and, and, and greater uh, race for your customers, you you receive this reward. So it's much more understandable how to manage it. So EOS is very tricky uh, in this case because there is political politician skill. Vicious actions. Interesting. I, I love it. So we are almost out of time. We have a couple of minutes. Um, and um, what would you recommend to people if you, they want to get involved today? Educate, educate yourself. There is a huge number of uh, publications in the social network. Uh, go to Reddit. Reddit is the like, most concentrated place to read it. Everybody, every blog producer do some things, uh, contribution to the education. It's, our type of elections. Mm -hmm. 
So, so what you would recommend to people who want to get involved? So, what's the they get involved in the technical side eventually, or in the building community, or in the financial side? What, what do you any, think? Any, any of these. So, is is how the community grows and develops. If you feel comfortable and uh, have a, uh, some knowledge in any type of this community building, you are welcome. Go to this community. Take do something that uh, you can. Mm -hmm. and, uh, we have like the story and funny thing that uh, the rules of two legs. If you go to something and you have an added value, just use to the legs to find another place. <laughs> <laughs> good, good. So the last question: You think blockchain is for good to stay, or it it is unclear if it might work out, might not work out in the future? Let's say ten years from now, could it be that it was just, or you know? Interesting experiment. Uh, definitely, finance will change. Like the finance system should be changed, and it doesn't depend on blockchain or not. Mm -hmm. It's just outdated and stuck. Uh, the way how decentralized organization, decentralized community will uh, it will be work from the help of the blockchain. Mm -hmm. is, is one of the proof that it, it, it can be achievable. And uh, who knows what will be the other in these cases. Mm -hmm. But uh, it will definitely be like the technology and the part of a new generation business and new generation process. But if some business process or some business need to be transparent to the another guy's community or to itself, or it should be like how some decentralized, mm -hmm. blockchain is like a tool. We have databases and everybody's using the databases. So the way how to manage it distributely is, is blockchain. So, it's two. so last question, uh, proof of stake rather than delegated proof of stake. It's on the technical side maybe. Uh, you, you are telling an example, US is an example of so far successful delegated proof of stake. Are there successful proof of stakes? Tezos. Tezos is proof of stake. Yep. Okay. Why? What's, what's better? What's delegated proof of stake or proof of stake? Well, there's is also delegated proof of stake. Yes. Uh, there are... Mm, combination of both of these algorithms. So Ethereum would be partitionally proof of fork and proof of stake. Every every technology, every consensus have and cons and pros. Mm -hmm. But combination of them have a, might work. Yeah, might work. But we cannot exclude the real use cases to from mm -hmm. analyzing what is better or mm -hmm. not. We need to see the real use cases that needs requirements of some specific business process or area. So it's actually you're saying it's going to be specific. Yeah, yeah. Use cases. and uh, proof of work or proof of stake. It depends. It depends what should what problem it should solve. Is there anything else uh, conceptual except proof of stake and proof of work? Uh, there are many of the algorithms. Yeah, okay. There are proofs of authority. Uh, Byzantine's follow tolerance agreement, which also use in. Uh, EOS as well, uh, hashed graphs, so yeah. mm -hmm. it's, it's technology, like we have different type of cryptography and we have different type of, of consensus. And this consensus was invented even before any blockchains, we have distributed databases which should agree uh, the state of different nodes which located in different parts of the world, so it not like invented on the world, it was many no, years no, ago. This is fantastic. This is fascinating how technology is moving forward and people have an opportunity to be a part of that and build up and, you know, actually... It's yes, not funny. <laughs> it, is, it is great, you know, that you guys are here in Ukraine and, you know, you're just moving the world forward. Yes, I'm very proud of my team and very proud that we achieved. Yeah. And I'm, I'm very proud that we do it here in Ukraine. Yeah, and absolutely. it like, a little bit strange how people see you first of where you are from Ukraine? You are a block producer? How? Mm -hmm. your, what, what so, you know, <laughs> so you know, you contribute to your show. That's actually the, the true proof of decentralized idea. That you can come from places which are unexpected and succeed and be a state of the art developer. So I thank you very much for your time. Let's see if uh, there, there are no more questions. Uh, we, will, uh, we will, you know, there might be follow up questions in a week or two and we'll be in touch. Okay, okay. okay. Thank you. Thank you, Jim. Thank you guys for watching. Bye. Bye.